as you lecture, and that's what you're doing today. You're just sitting here passively as you hear from me. And that's not necessarily all good when it comes to learning. You can also vary things in the classroom. You have a voice. Your voice may not be as loud as mine. But one of the best teachers I've ever seen in my life had a really soft voice. And he did not talk loud and he did not use a microphone. And every student in the classroom was right on the edge of their chair <laughs> listening. They were afraid they were going to miss some funny story or some unusual play on words. So you don't have to be loud. God just blessed me with, you know, a, a deep bass voice <laughs> that I can use and I can vary it. I can be loud and then go real soft. Be soft in my speech. And I'm still lecturing, I'm still teaching. But if he's getting sleepy, all I got to do is get close to him and get a little bit loud. I won't eat. You saw him jump. <laughs> and all I'm doing is just varying. I can vary my movements. I can vary my position. You know, I can set up here on the table. You know, as I teach, I can lay down if I want. You know, and still talk. And they say, everybody in the room is looking. That crazy professor, what's he doing? But you see, I'm getting their interest. They don't know what I'll do next. You know? Is he going to run up and kiss me on the cheek? <laughs> oh. I don't know what the man's going to do. I better watch out. You know? Because he, you know, he'll get right up on the desks. He'll stand on the chairs. He'll stand on the tables. Oh, as I talk. Is that unbecoming of a professor in Taiwan? Is that demeaning to you? Does that make you seem like less than a professor? I say no. If it helps my students learn. It is not my ego that is important in the classroom. Not me to look good. It is for what I can get inside this student's head. To help him learn. That is what's important. 